The date is May 5th, 1980. After a nearly week-long hostage situation in the Iranian embassy in London, a terrorist executed one of the hostages and dumped his body outside the embassy. This situation was no longer a negotiation, but became a hostage rescue. And as a result, control over the situation was given over to the 22nd SAS. Once the situation was handed over to the 22nd SAS, orders were given to commence a siege on the embassy to rescue the hostages. The siege would be conducted by two teams from the 22nd SAS, blue team who would take the first floor and red team who would take the second floor. After the primary breaches went awry, red team breached windows off of a balcony to gain access to the second floor. After entering through a window, Sergeant Palmer encountered a terrorist at the back end of the room pouring kerosene on the floor. Bringing his MP5 to bear, his MP5 malfunctioned. Upon seeing this, the terrorist drew his own pistol, taking several shots at Sergeant Palmer while retreating into an adjacent room. Luckily for Sergeant Palmer, the terrorist missed. Palmer, while pursuing the terrorist into the adjacent room, slung his MP5 while drawing his secondary, a Browning High Power, if I remember correctly, taking a single shot and hitting the terrorist in the head, neutralizing him. So a few years ago, I was reading up on that Iranian embassy siege, and I read that particular part of the story, and I thought to myself, damn, that would actually make for an excellent pistol transition drill. And I started doing something fairly similar, and I call it, of course, appropriately, the Palmer drill. And that's what I'm going to show you here. So the drill itself is pretty simple. You're going to have a rifle or a sub gun, which is appropriate considering where I got this from. And it's going to have an empty chamber. You're going to be more or less 20 yards away from the target. And what you're going to do is, however you want to start, if you want to start it with a timer or whatever, you're going to bring your rifle or your sub gun up to, bear, up to bear while moving. So you're gonna be walking while you're bringing your rifle up. And of course, because it has an empty chamber, it's gonna go click. After your rifle or your sub gun goes click, you are going to sprint while transitioning to your pistol, more or less somewhere up to the 10, seven or five yard line. And you're going to engage the target in the head, one round in the head, while moving. So you're never gonna stop moving throughout this drill. I'll go ahead and explain it one more time and then I'll go ahead and demonstrate it. So again, you're gonna start about 20 yards away from your target. You're going to bring your rifle up to bear. Of course, it's gonna have an empty chamber, so it's gonna go click. You're gonna be moving while you're bringing that rifle up to bear. When it goes click, while sprinting, you are going to transition to your secondary and you're going to sprint more or less up to the 10, seven, maybe five yard line. And still while moving, you are going to put one round from your pistol into the head of the target. So I'll go ahead and reorient the camera and I'll go ahead and demonstrate this. This is gonna be my first shot of the day. So this should be interesting. All right, let me go ahead and demonstrate it. And that is a drill I call the Palmer drill. I'm pretty happy with that shot, center right in the face. I took it about maybe seven, maybe six yards away when I broke the shot. Happy with that for the first shot of the day. Obviously this is a very dynamic transition drill and it's probably not something you should do if you're still a beginner, but it's a, it's a fantastic drill for transitions because it's so dynamic, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, you gotta transition the gun. Uh, while drawing, while sprinting. There's a lot of stuff going on with it, even though it's just one round. So it's a fantastic drill, probably my favorite transition drill there is. Anyways, I hope you are able to use this drill wherever you train. It's a fantastic drill and has a pretty cool historical background, if you will. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'm Tyler Austin from Gungnir Strategic. Thank you so much for watching.